I think for us, the most uh, interesting thing is that he has been transmitted to the West, his persona, his image, his as a, as a person, um, as a philosopher. And if you look at his life, he was essentially a faqih. He was a the supreme judge in the al muwahid empire. So he was responsible, responsible for thousands of, of judges. He wrote this uh, handbook of fiqh, which is still used today and which has never been um, surpassed, the Vidayat al mustahid But despite the, the fact that he was a practicing judge, he wrote these extraordinary things uh, in fiqh. He is known to the West as a philosopher. And I would say that he was essentially a jurist and secondly, a philosophy. And his philosophy was in order to raise the Muslims, in order to um, have a better, for them to have a better understanding of the deen, and in order to create a better life for the Muwahidun people.